Margarine, butter's hydrogenated cousin. While most view margarine as a forgettable substitute for the good stuff, its history is anything but forgettable. After its inception in the 1860s, margarine spread across the world like butter on toast, gaining incredible popularity with the working class. Big Dairy was scared. Not only were less people buying butter, but margarine was being fraudulently sold as butter. In the year 1885 alone, over 60 million pounds of margarine were falsely sold as butter. The problem got so bad that the Dairy and Cheese Exchange started a detective agency to hunt down those involved with the illicit dealings. You're under arrest. Restrictions were placed on margarine all over North America. Many states required it to be dyed pink. Canada took a scorched earth approach, banning margarine in 1886. Get out of here, eh? This ban led to small-scale smuggling over the U.S.-Canada border, but took off in 1949, when Newfoundland was incorporated into Canada. Newfoundland's main export was margarine, so the ban didn't apply to them. Smugglers used fishing boats and ferries to sneak large amounts of margarine into Canada. Say thanks to our history expert for that crash course on the history of margarine. I could get into the health effects, however, I'd butter not. <laughs>